Hello YouTubers, this is Questionably Ryan here for episode 3 of my Java Novice Tutorial. So, here we are. I, if you notice, I got to the class 2, it wasn't needed. But, um, I rewatched the last episode and I realized that I completely forgot Boolean. I'll just call it Boolean Boo. Okay, say hello to Boo for me, guys. A uh, Boolean has two values. Yes, no, true, false, and yes, no. So, um, let's say that uh, is equal to false. That means that, that basically means no. So, um, let's say that if, um, this is a trick. Um, you can have if with the curly braces around it, or you can have like this if it's only one line. So, let's say that if boo is equal to true. Okay, so if the boolean boo has a value of true, which means yes, which means you know, it's on. So if boo is equal to true, then it'll do this. Okay, but it's set to false. So if I click this, then it doesn't calculate. It just, like, skips over it. So then if I change it to true, that means that if boo is equal to true, that means that it is, in fact, it is, in fact, true, because boo is equal to true, then it'll do this. So if it so if this is true, then do that. Okay, so if I do this, uh, 75, it does, you know, the entire problem for us. <clears throat> so this episode, uh, not really sure what to cover. I feel like a total idiot for not, you know, planning this out accordingly, but um, I actually think I'll do switches and, you know, uh, that sort of basic stuff. So then... As soon as I do this, Control Shift O does like the imports up here. Control Shift F formats it. All you know, the good stuff. Also, the lines. I never showed how to do that. So preferences. I'm just going all over the place today. You guys, eh, you guys can do the whole pause thing. I'm not even, I'm not even sure if I have the more than 15 minutes. And as soon as I remember where it is, you know, what, I'm just gonna pause until I can find it. Right, I found it like three minutes later. Uh, so if you go in, if you go to your preferences, which is Window Preferences, then you go into your General, open that, go to Editors, then Text Editors. If you go over here, Show Line Numbers. So, yeah, there you go. It shows your line numbers. So for this, I will do some other stuff. So I'm um, just going to like switch it. Oh. Just gonna go into like switches, which is case, and just you know some general stuff. So for this, we're gonna need an int. I will call it int integer equals one. Okay. So we're going to make a switch, which I will do this. Okay, what well, switch? Okay, I'll, I'll just type this out. Case zero. Yeah, just bear with me here. And if you can't bear with me, trout with me, har har har, or sheep with me, which whatever that joke is boring. System dot out dot print line. Oh, one. And then break. Then default. Print line. Yeah, I that I screwed that up. Uh, integer is invalid. Okay then. What this is, is it, this is basically a multi-level if. Okay. Okay. So, it checks this. Okay, think of it as like a, like a filter. Okay, if you will. It's, um, let me open paint. Paint is so useful nowadays. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this quickly, but um, I think about this. Okay, you've got you know, uh, you're, you've got your conveyor belt. Then you've got this really small hole. Okay, which our our half of YouTube's gonna have some weird joke with that. So on the smallest rocks fall through here to be taken somewhere else. Then you've got a large one for larger rocks. Then you've got another one for larger rocks, and so on. 
So in this case, your switch is the conveyor belt. Okay, this is what's traveling on the conveyor belt. This is the rocks that are going all over the place. You know, just pretty nice rock, don't you think? But um, anyways, don't save. Your switch is the conveyor belt. Your integer is what's going on. The case is the little holes. So if case, okay, it's just in case integer is equal to zero, do this. Okay? And then it does that, and break means that it goes to the end of here. Okay? So it's like, break. Huh. Guess I'm going to have to break away from the switch statement. You know, that sort of stuff. It breaks the loop. Okay? Well, not really a loop, but it just skips it all. So, just in case that integer is equal to zero, system dot print, dot print line zero, just in case integer is equal to one, okay? So then if I go ahead and run this, you'll notice that it says one, okay? Because it's one. Now, if I put to zero, then it'll go, okay, just in case integer is equal to, to zero, then I'll put zero. There's zero. Default means that if it doesn't match any other options, then it uses this, as an integer is not valid. So I'll put 2. 2 is not 0, 2 is not 1, and there's nothing after that, so it goes by, de so it goes by default to integer is invalid. Go ahead and run this. Integer is invalid. Okay. So then I'll just turn this back to 0. You can even use strings, so I'll go ahead and put string name equals Ryan. Okay, so now we're gonna do Ryan or name. <laughs> Duh. Uh, oh, apparently you can't do the um. Apparently you can only use strings in um. You can only use strings in the. Uh, Justin's my brother, by the way. Just you know, skip that. To well, yeah. Welcome, <laughs> owner of the the universe. No, not owner, master. Because you know, I've got to have an ego. Um. Get out of my program. Okay, so the string name. Okay, it's like switch name, okay, so just in case name is equal to Ryan, you know, this, then just not that up here, welcome, master of the universe, which, you know, funny accent and all, I sound bland, even to myself, so, um, so just, uh, whatever, gotta drink. Mm. So then, just in case, name is equal to Justin, then welcome Justin. And by default, if it doesn't match either of these, then by default, system not a print line, get out of my program. Because, you know, they aren't supposed to be there. So welcome, a master of the universe. And then Justin. Welcome, Justin. And then just Bob. And now, if you want to go a step further, we can, um, quantitate, um, what's it called? Con concate? Whatever. We can do this. Okay, what this means is we can string the, we can, this doesn't add the strings together, it makes it so it's like, get out of my program, and then see the space here, that's there for a reason, because, see? Bob does not have a space for it. If you put a space before this, when it appears, there'll space put be a space before it. But what this, what this will do is get out. It, it'll system dot out dot print line get out of my program comma space, and then it'll also output name. Okay, so name's Bob. Get out of my program, Bob. You know, Bob. Get just quit screwing with me, man. I'm 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 trying to force myself to be funny, you know. Just it's boring if I sp if I you know speak in a monotone or is that is that what is monotone? 
Eh, whatever. Screw it. But, um, yeah. Get out of my program, Bob. Or if I change this to... Hallelujah. I'm pretty sure I spelled that right. Get out my name. Get, get out my name. Get out my program, hallelujah. And then I'll just put, uh, stinkweed, because I can. And just, um, if you try and run a program without saving it, it'll have this one open for, like, do you want to, you have unsaved changes, do you want to, do you want to save before you run it? And there's, like, this check mark for always save before running. So, yeah, there's that. This is the switch. You can also put further switches inside of it. No, that's useless. Pfft, yeah, putting a switch inside of a switch. Just put more cases. Hmm. Yeah, that would be useless. So then I'll go back over this. Okay, I have another three odd minutes, so I'll make this really quick. So I will co now cover input scanner input equals new scanner system dot in. Okay, I'm hoping that you guys can guess what this means. Okay, system.in. It's the same as system.out.perline. Your system, your computer, dot input. Okay. Then string um, input text is equal to input dot next line. Okay, I'm sort of blasting along here because, you know, running short on time. What this does is it makes a string called input text, which is equal to input dot next line. Okay, that means that when you run it, you type your text, hit enter, which goes to the next line and everything. Just gonna clear that. And then it'll be equal to that. So then I'll system dot out dot print line input text. Okay, I'm gonna run. So now it's asking me for my text, ASDF, okay. Scanner input equals new scanner system button. Now I'm inputting to the system a string of text. I'm gonna hit enter. And now string input text is equal to this line of text. I can put spaces, I can put commas, I can whatever. And then it outputs input text. Rather nice. But wait, what happens if, you know, we put numbers? It outputs it as a string. You can't do like plus, plus, whatever. So, for example, um, you you can't do int i is equal to eight plus input text. Um, see, it just doesn't work. Change of i because it's string. Okay, it takes out a string. But what you can do is you can do int is equal to next int. I think. Yeah, what it means is it is int input input int because you know I want to be organized. Input int. There's a faster way of doing that, but you know it's only two. It's equal to input dot next int. What it does is it goes through scanner. Okay, after you do your input and whatnot, it goes through scanner and it tries to find the next integer. So you can have like ASDF and then space five. Okay, it'll skip the ASDF space and it'll take out 5, because it is the next integer along, like, your line. And I'm doing, like, hand-waving and everything, but you guys can't see that, obviously. So then, let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna do 6, okay? Now you may be asking, it's the same thing, it outputs a number, okay? But, then I won't be able to do this. Int, integ is equal to input int plus 5. Okay, so then if I do integ, six plus five is eleven. Okay, you couldn't do that before the string, but right now, that's a scanner, that's input, that's you know switch case. But I'm running out of time for my fifteen minutes, so I'm um, like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you want me to cover next. Otherwise, I'm just gonna default for my like imaginary list that I don't have. So, go ahead, have fun. Hope you learned something, because, you know, I'm not covering a lot much, and, uh, that's it. Uh, see you next episode.